I'm Michael Peters, working at SEAT, based in Colombia, and we'll discuss a little bit our work on a project in which we did in Central America, in Nicaragua. And the whole study was about trade-offs between using specific forage plants either as feed for animals or as uh, for soil improvement or soil fertility maintenance and then studying what are the positive and the negative balances between the two. There are three uh, issues into it. There's one, uh, the, the feed for, for the cows in that case, soil fertility, and then the longer term environmental issues like water and sediments. I think the main points of, of the outcome of this is that you can go basically from a no win to a win win situation and uh, that depends one on the technologies and on the other hand on on the environment which you are in most cases we got actually balanced situation or win win situations um, win win situation is when you get an Im improvement in in animal production which gives you the income and you don't have negative effects on the environment. And then you can have effects uh, that improve the soil fertility, but then you don't get the animal effect. And uh, you may have that changing actually between years. So one year you may concentrate on the productive part, and on the other hand, uh, on the other year you may concentrate more on the environmental part. And interestingly, we had economic studies, ex ante and ex post, which were quite good correlated, but the responses and the benefits uh, which comment the farmers were usually above the predictions and the mm -hmm. analyzed results. So that's something to think about. And uh, consequently, the farmers seem to take up the technologies much, much quicker. Uh, the only other things to comment on it is the technology which we have uh, co-developed with the farmers is based on a specific forage legume and because the farmers are excited they want to, want to apply to quite a little bit of different situations and we as researchers or technicians have to caution at sometimes the farmers because it's a technology which works perfectly in drought prone environments but in in more humid environment it actually can have negative uh, environmental consequences as it can become a weed. Did the farmers themselves, were they aware very much of these trade-offs that you were trying to research? Uh, I think the farmers are quite well aware of the trade-offs and uh, they look mainly for the situation where they can have a combined effect of the two way where you maximize productivity but uh, having in mind the longer term issues. I, I, my experience is that farmers know often much more than people think but sometimes they don't have the technologies available to, to, to act in the way which is both productive and environmental feasible. Uh, if they have the, the need to choose between the two, then often the short-term response is what they, they have to go for.